good morning students we have completed our a section uh, compassionate souls of chapter 2 now we are heading towards the b part you know so what is this this is the very first question here let's find out what is all about it what would be your state of mind if you found yourself in the following situations so there are certain situations which are given here to you so Uh, you know the question is asked how you are going to uh, react in those situations how you are going to behave in those situations so what is first situation your car has a flat tire on a busy road you are blocking the free movement of the traffic every st uh, everyone stops and glares at you but no one comes to your help so flat tire means that you have somehow you know your tire had punctured in the uh, in between of in the middle of the road and you are blocking the free traffic of the vehicles and everybody is just staring at you nobody is coming to help um, to you so this is a normal scene we can see anywhere okay what happens if someone is in trouble in the middle of the road nobody come to help that person we are just you know glaring at them we are just staring at them that what they are doing in the middle of the road you know why they just put their vehicle uh, to the towards the side of the uh, car but we are not ready to help them b you see an old handicap beggar pleading for food but everybody ignores him and move on even you for some reason are unable to help him we have seen uh, handicap beggars out there you know into the streets and somewhere in busy roads or busy markets so what we do we all people what we do we just you know show them away from uh, ourselves we do not help them we just ignore them and somehow we people also do that with the rest of the others we also do that we do not help them the c is in a newspaper you see the picture of blood stained bodies of the victims of a bomb blast in your city you cast aside a newspaper to continue doing your work so what happened in a newspaper you see the pictures of blood stained bodies okay uh, some bar, uh, bomb blast we have seen such, such kind of pictures in newspapers coming regularly so what we will do we just you know put the paper newspaper aside we really do not want to look at those pictures we really do not want to read about that kind of bomb bomb blast why because we think that you know it will distress our mind we will be in stress so uh, we cannot do anything so we just you know put the newspaper aside so what happened which human qualities do you think are absent in the above situations hold a brief class discussion on why there had been a decline of these qualities so what human qualities do you think are absent in the first it, uh, we would say that you know uh a helping nature we people are forgetting that uh, you know nature of our that helping uh, other people that compassion for other people we are not sympathetic towards other people and second one is we obviously it was also sympathetic because we are not able to see the pain or feel the pain of other people we cannot extend our helping hand to these kind of people and third one is third one is also being sensitive ins insensitive we are insensitive towards other people's pain we are insensitive with a sense of sensitive towards uh, situations around them so these are the qualities i think that somehow uh, we people are lacking somewhere we all people not just one we all are just lacking uh, in these qualities somewhere so uh, so what we can do we can just you know be sympath more sympathetic towards the suffering of other people so we should think about these qualities because these qualities are the very basic qualities of being um, human okay so we should try to think about the pains of other obviously uh, somehow we could not do anything for bomb blast and all those things but we can feel sympathy sympathetic towards them we can help them if we found if we find something like this around our um, you know around us so we can help these people we can help uh, um, uh, we can extend a helping hand to all those people so we should try to be more sympathetic to be more uh, sensitive towards these people who are suffering there you know who are going from some uh, disturbances or who are going from some illness or that kind of a thing so we can be a little help to those people now B two. Now read this poem by William Blake, which very beautifully highlights the need for humanitarianism. Yes, what we are, uh, you know, leaving behind that is humanitarian. Humanitarianism. It means that being human, to have human qualities. We are human, but we are somewhere lacking those, uh, you know, human qualities, which, which comprise of all compassionate qualities we which we have read earlier. that being forgiving uh, being compassionate being sensitive being uh, you know helpful being uh, those all things these all things are uh, comprises in a uh, good soul that's why we can be uh, always uh, we can also be a compassionate soul if we really think about these all qualities 
so now let's read this poem by william blake william blake is a writer he has written poems for small children uh, his book of them that uh, his um, poem that poem's book is named as song of innocence he has written a whole book big book on uh, the various poems on children so the, he has written so many of the poems so this poem the divine image is also from, from one of them so the divine image to mercy pity peace and love all pray in their distress to and to these virtues of delight return their th- thankfulness so what uh, here poet is saying poet is saying that you know we people when we are at distress distress means that we are in stress we are in stress so what we do we pray for these qualities we pray for mercy we pray for we pray for pity we pray for peace and we pray for love whenever we are at distress when we are we are, we are at some problems and to these virtuous virtue virtues of delight so virtues means quality delight means happiness so poet has referring to these four qualities are the virtues of delight virtues or qualities of happiness return their thankfulness so when you know we pray for these qualities these delights we also return the thankful to these all qualities we are thanking here god for these qualities to uh, to be these qualities to be given to us okay if we pray to god in our distress to for these qualities so we are also praying a thank uh, full thankfulness to the to these qualities because we know that these qualities will help us to get away to get over of any kind of qualities okay come to the next uh, paragraph for mercy pity peace and love is god our father dear and mercy pity peace and love is man his child and care so what he is saying he is saying that you know mercy pity peace and love these qualities is like our god our father so these qualities are also in our god also in our father god is referred here as father okay so poet is telling us that you know these qualities are comprised in a god god is made up of these qualities we seek pity mercy peace from god and these qualities are also in human being he saying that you know man is also made up of these qualities mercy pity peace and love it means that uh, god has made man equal to him he has provided this quality to us these qualities are there in god but god has also provided these qualities to us also and that is why man is also a form of mercy pity peace and love like we are his child and we do care for other people so we should care for other people and god is also caring for us that is why he has provided these quality to us he had made equal to uh, um, uh, he had made us equivalent to himself like we have equal qualities which is possessed or which is comprised by a god for mercy has a human heart pity a human face and love the human form divine and peace the human dress so what poet is saying poet is saying that you know mercy has a human heart that we seek mercy we seek mercy from a human heart because if um, there is a heart there would be mercy because we say that you know human heart is full of mercy pity peace and love so we had a heart so we also have mercy there pity has a human face we feel pity on on what people on sad people so sad people uh, they have, so you know mercy uh, so pity has a human face human sad face so pity is uh, recognized by the human face sad human face we would say and love the human form of divine and love is the form of divine divine means eternal eternal form so when we human are uh, you know full of love so we are we somewhere become eternal because uh, love is eternal form of being divine okay love is an eternal form of being human so that person can love other person that person can provide love to other person which is having a divine heart which is having a a peaceful or soulful heart only that person will be able to love others and then peace the human dress and peace is the human dress it means that you know we people are made up of peace we people uh, are the messengers of peace so we people should have peace in us we people should provide peace to other people so that is why he is saying that you know here what what poet has done poet has personified these all qualities mercy is personified as human heart personified is personification is what personification is the you know it is a uh poetic device it is used to personify it is used to give the human qualities to non living thing for example sometimes we say that you know clouds are crying clouds cannot cry clouds are non living things clouds do not have heart but when we say that clouds are crying it means that clouds are having rain it is raining so when we say clouds are crying we are personifying the clouds we are giving the human qualities to clouds that is called personification that is done by the poet here mercy is just a quality it is a non living thing but here when it is converted into human heart it is personified it has given a per, uh, human feelings human qualities so that is personification is done here by the poet
okay so read these uh, three paragraphs uh, carefully and try to figure out the meanings also and think about these three uh, exercises just think about by on yourself if you really want to write uh, some lines on it you can do that for sure okay it is just for your own um, self so read this poem rest of the poem we will read in next class